Hi there, I'm Oliver from Blenders.com and in this tutorial we are going to see how to read topo models here in Blender. Uh, as you can see I have here a face, right, the, the one that I sculpted on the sculpting tutorial and I have this uh, quick and simple reference I did with the grease pencil just like in the grease pencil tutorial, alright? So I'm going to use it as a reference for the read topo. Uh, as I explained on the Grease Pencil tutorial, I have a plane, here you have it, and it's the one uh, that I selected while painting with the Grease Pencil. So now, when we enter the edit mode uh, with this plane to start with Topo, uh, the Grease Pencil lines will be uh, are attached to it, so they won't disappear. Alright? So, well, let's get started. Uh, first of all, enter on the edit mode uh, with Tab, and now we are going to activate the snapping and select the snapping to face. And now, in order to read topo, uh, we are going to activate this option, all right? And which is uh, for projecting every uh, simple, uh, every part of the object that we have selected. For example, all the vertices of the plane we have selected, so they project uh, each one in a different uh, part of the surface. Right. If you don't activate it, uh, the entire selection will attach to one, ju just one position. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to show you uh, without selecting. Right. I press G and move it, and as you can see, it's uh, you know positioning the, the the object on the on the position of that vertex. All right. But if we activate this. Uh, it's positioning the four vertices of the plane in different places. All right, so it's projecting all the vertex on the surface. So with this option uh, activated, we can see that this is not the better uh, way of uh, having this, of doing this, because we are not exactly watching what we are doing. So what I do in these cases is go into the object panel and activate here X-Ray. So now we have over the, the, the original model, the Retopo model. So uh, right now we can start Retopo. So if we select a vertex and extrude, for example, and select the four vertices and press F to create the face, you can see that it's projected on the surface right also you can select the vertex and this is just like modeling right if you control click in the points that we have in the reference they will be created just there like this Actually, it's faster to go to the edge mode like this, select two f edges and create a face. But well, normally I find very comfortable using vertices. Right? Also, you can do this with control and dragging the left click button. Okay, it's just, as I said, just like modeling, but everyone, everything you model will be projected on the surface of uh, the rest of the objects on the scene. In this case, the alien face. So it's very great. <laughs> I love making Retobo. So now let's. Extrude this so as you can see for creating faces um, using edges is faster As you can see, we can scale, rotate, or 
move vertices and uh, edges selections in general and they will project on the surface which is what we want for making Retobo okay also while using these techniques we can of course uh, add different modifiers to this object I will show you right now for example we can add mirror so now we can retopo in both sides also we can add subdivision surface so now we are watching uh, the final model for example okay these are some options but uh, actually I prefer to don't have subserve activated at this point <coughs> sorry because it's easier to know where the vertices are right now okay, here we can extrude and scale move so you can see when you have a reference it's very easy and fast to make a uh, retopo Also, another thing that I used to do while working this way is to, you know, right now we have the same color for the for the new topology object and for the original one. What I do usually is to add a new material to the to the new topology object and put a different color like this, for example, right, and uh, turn the specularity down. So now we have a better, you know, vision of what we are doing, right? It's a great, you have a great difference between the new topology and the original one. So it's easier to see. And well, I think that this is everything, all right? There is no much science uh, behind this, right? Just uh, you need to know how the, the modeling tools work because this is just like modeling, but you need to know also, uh, well, you have to use your topology skills for doing this, uh, you know, knowing how the muscles of the face flow and things like that so you can know and uh, use uh, th that that knowledge to make the new topology follow that that shapes so they work okay when you are animating the model So I could finish this, this to retop all, 
all this object, but I think you already get the point doing this. Also, from time to time, you can go out of this mode and press slash on the on the numpad to isolate the object. So you have here the 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 view, a local view of this object, and you can also hide the guides so you can see only the object. Press slash again to have the view. Now we can just select all this here. Let's go to clipping and sorry wrap X. There we go. As you can see it's pretty fast and you see once you know how the topology works. So this is everything for this tutorial. right? Uh, I'm going to read up a little bit more uh, but I'm going to put this uh, accelerator so you don't get bored and well as I already explained the basics of making Retopo um, well you'll see how I finish this this part okay so let's go for it Okay, so here you have this part of the of the face already retopoked, and well, I just noticed that I didn't explain one thing, and is that you can just project uh, things. For example, well, let me just delete uh, this point. Well, just hide it, and I'm going to create a loop right here. Okay, now hide it with Alt H and just merge this and with Alt J make this four-sided polygon. Alright, so select this, this loop and uh, well, as I created it uh, with Ctrl R, it's not projected on the surface of the original object. So what I can do is just press G and it will be projected. Okay, maybe you won't see a, a big difference, but just if you if you pay attention, when I press G right now, it's projected. Okay, there we go. So uh, I used it right here on the mouth and all that. So. Uh, now, now yes, I think uh, it's everything for this tutorial. And well, in future tutorials, we'll see how to um, create textures inside Blender. So, uh, see you soon, and happy blending!